Wow, I'm here in the basement of the Riverside Theater. And you'll have the light from the iPad and that's it. I do not have a radio. I would say that you're much more likely to experience something paranormal when you're falling asleep or waking up. All right, so that'd be a way that you can contact us if something happens. Yeah, whatever you do, do not run. Because of this altered state that your brain is in. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, I can hear it. It sounds like there's this one. Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't really want to go back to sleep. I'm Madeline Kate, and I am a ghost hunter. I've been a believer of the paranormal since I was eight years old. This is really creepy. I've seen some really crazy stuff over the years. I know the camera did not catch this, but I just saw the biggest black mass just come out of the fucking wall. It does not stop me. I am not scared. I'm always looking for something more. These days, there is so much footage of paranormal activity caught on tape. Those are the things that I want to investigate. I'm here at the Riverside Theater. Paranormal investigators in Milwaukee invited me here because they've seen some shadow figures, as well as they've actually captured a couple different EVPs. Yeah, we were doing an investigation here in the theater, and when we went back to review our audio, we found something that we didn't remember hearing. It says, turn off the lights. We think it's a female voice. That really sounds like what it's saying. Turn off the lights. Oh, that's cool. I think that we should try to see if we can capture something like that again tonight. Sounds good. Cool, let's go. There has been lots of claims of really weird stuff happening. People have seen the lights flicker on and off. People have heard voices. The voices and things that they've captured here all seem to kind of happen off in the distance. Let the place kind of tell you what's here. It's in the basement where the activity seems to be the strongest. Most of the time when you go ghost hunting, you aren't allowed to go to sleep, but I'm actually here to do a sleep experiment. The goal is that I'm gonna go to sleep, and after about 90 minutes, your body should go into a REM sleep and during that time, I'm gonna be more susceptible to having something paranormal happen because I'll be in that altered state. All you have to do, it's already on. Okay. So all you have to do is hit this button and talk. Okay. I'm going to be monitored by the group who's going to be watching a variety of different equipment that we have set up. Again, we have audio in here, so you can just talk. If you're trying to get your camera on and something happens, you can talk while it's happening. I'm feeling just like a little bit freaked out down here because as you can see, like it's not the normal type of place that anybody should be sleeping. It's completely dark down here and completely barren and there's all this random stuff everywhere. It's just not something that a normal person would be sleeping in. But that's why we're here to try to see if there's any like contact that can be made. Everyone's at home base right now, monitoring me. We have three different cameras in there. We have the thermal in there. We have the anxiety monitor on her. So we have a lot of different things, plus audio running. This thing that I'm wearing, it's, it's actually not a headband. It's an EEG meter. We have our EEG so we can see if that was any change in our brain waves. I'm just laying here kind of like as a guinea pig. So if I hear anything or if I get woken up for any reason, I'll be grabbing my camera and you guys will be the first one to know. So until then, good night, everybody. She's breathing pretty even right now. 
like she sounds like she's sleeping. Yeah. Hello? I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know what the heck I'm hearing behind me and over to my right. And I'm sure that was on the recorder because it was super loud. I didn't hear anything. As you can see, it's like... There's like nothing down here. She thought that it was... It sounded right next to her, she said. Yeah, we have an audio recorder in there, so if there was anything there, we should be able to get it. That's interesting. She's been down there for like 10 minutes. So, it's working. It's working. Let's see what else happens. I'm gonna try go, try to go back to sleep. What time is that? Uh, 147, 34. I almost listened and he was going back through some of the audio and he heard, oh, sounds like a woman's voice. And so I listened to it. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it sounds like a woman saying, Oh my God. You yeah. said 148, that's what yeah. she said. So that's like roughly before she woke up, right? Yeah. It was not Madeline, definitely. And it didn't come from within her room directly, but it was definitely somewhere nearby. You could tell that from her mic that we were listening to. I don't know what just woke me up, but like, I don't really want to go back to sleep. Is there anyone in here? 